let's take a look at creating cultural awareness. We have to start by understanding our current perceptions of our own cross-cultural competence and cultural awareness. Much of our identity develops from awareness, but it takes a while for people to become fully aware of the significant power culture has on their attitude, perception, personality, and behavior. Developing the habits of reflection, self-awareness, openness, and observation in work and life is invaluable in helping people improve cultural competence. The truth of the matter is that the more culturally aware we are of ourselves, the more productive our impact and input may be in our interactions with others. We're always operating with a filter when we experience other cultural beings. The more we are aware of our own cultural-based biases and preconceptions, the more capable we'll be of stepping outside of ourselves and really connecting with and responding and respecting people from other cultures outside of our own. There's a five-step development process, starting with destructive through incapable, blindness, competence, and proficiency when it comes to this type of cultural competence development. Developing cultural awareness is, on an organizational level, far more complex. It requires that organizations have a defined set of values and principles and demonstrate behaviors, attitudes, policies, and structures that enable them to work effectively cross-culturally. They must also have the capability to value diversity, conduct self-assessment, manage the dynamics of difference, acquire and institutionalize cultural knowledge, and adapt to diversity and the cultural context of the communities that they serve. Organizations must incorporate all of these aspects in policymaking and service delivery.